Hey YouTube, what's up? Nate with Mass Collector. Um, so these are from my original, I mean, I pulled these King Griffey Juniors out of packs when I first started getting in, really getting into collecting in 1988, 89 era. Um, you know, they're not the best centered cards in the world, but you know, knowing what we know now, these really should never have been put into screw downs and I don't eat I don't even think these have the uh, the beveled um, indentation for the card on them these are just kind of like put in there and it's, these are just placed in there by pressure so I'm just gonna open them up and see what happens here you can kind of see where it got a little bit on the gray side on these on these corners for some reason. I don't I don't know why. If it's just the plastic making it change color or what, but um, I'm gonna take them out of here and put them in proper sleeves and top holders or something for now. But I wanted to open them up and see if we had any major major disasters happening here in terms of uh, just the cards sticking to each other or something to the thing. So we'll see what happens. Do this one first. So these things have been in these cases since 1989. They have not been removed ever. Man, I, I remember pulling these out of packs, like, so cool. I remember, you know, when he was the biggest prospect ever to, to hit baseball in a really long time. Just buying packs and packs and packs and packs of upper deck. And that was like the first time that baseball cards actually had a really nice card stock to them. Um, it just felt so much better, so much, you know, the design was nice and simple, but it was uh, really eye appealing. I think the screw broke in there. But I collected baseball pretty hardcore from like the 80, late 80s till probably like 90, 91, 92. After that, it kind of just drifted into basketball and um, Well, that's cool. So good news. Um, the the gray on the corners was actually just the plastic making it look that way. And these are, I mean, I, besides them being off-centered, Corners are really nice, sharp. The edges, you know, look good. Wow. I mean, I don't think it's a 10, but um, a nine is definitely possible, I think. Eight. That's sick. And then I just keep these uh, these things so when I ship cards to anybody, really expensive ones, you know, like uh, PSA graded cards or even anything else, I'll, I'll sandwich them in between these two and rubber band them together and put them in bubble wrap. Okay, so the first one, success, actually looks pretty good. So we'll do the second one here. So again, if you can see, there was a gray, there's like a little gray area up here and over there, but it's definitely just scratches in the, uh, the plastic case because the other one did not have anything on it at all. And I know I had three of these cards to begin with at one time. I traded, I traded one of them 
for a Kirby Puckett rookie card, I think, at that time. It was either that or I traded it for a Jordan card. I can't remember what it was, but I, I know I had three and one of my good friends when I was a kid collected as the same and that was the one card he needed. He didn't, he didn't never pull one because I was always buying all the cards and, at the store. <laughs> I got lucky he didn't. Okay. Um, this one looks really good too. The corners are really sharp. Um, it's not centered great either, but as far as like surface quality, um, it's perfect. There's no scratches, there's no nothing on it. I mean, once those things got into that, in a, into that case in 1989, that's where they've been until today. So that's cool. I'm gonna sleeve these up, send them off to PSA and one of my modern value submissions. You know, I'm in no rush to get these back. I'm not gonna, I'm not in it for profiting off of these guys. This is like, you know, such an iconic card. One of my favorite baseball players of all time. Um, one of the reasons why I really got into collecting, you know, as, as hard as I did when I was a kid. And um, this is just, um, I'm really happy I pulled them out because I thought they might've been, they might've been damaged um, with just them being in those screw holders, you know, for so long. But man, it's a perfect condition. I, mean, I just wish they were centered better. These would have been easily tens if they would have been centered better, I think. Just perfect condition. So thanks for watching. Um, screw holder protectors aren't the worst thing in the world after all. Um, I got lucky probably, but um, I'm really happy about this. I just wanted to show you guys, thought, why not film it? and uh, show you how I'm taking them apart and take a look at these guys. So appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.